despite the odds of life and the expected response to usual life experiences, there is always an exception. Meet a Nigerian doctor, Dr. Richard Okoye, who rejected 20 million US dollars and still went ahead to build a multi-billion Naira empire. His amazing story is not only a motivation to African youths, but also a resurrection to even dead dreams. Dr. Richard Okoye is the chairman of Save a Life Group, consisting of Save a Life Medisoft Limited, a software developing company based in the USA. Save a Life Group of Hospitals, an ISO certified groups of hospitals with zero hospital acquired infection status. Equipped with the first digital cath lab in Nigeria for heart, neuro, and cardiovascular diseases, kidney dialysis, and transplant facility, spine, orthopedic, and painless minimal knee replacement surgeries, IVF, and so on. Dr. Richard Okoye is the author of 24 best-selling books and presenter of the popular radio and TV show, You and Your Health, running in Nigeria and Ghana. I met Dr. Richard Okoye in 2009, when he was just a dreamer, just trying to make Nigeria a dream destination for medical treatment. My greatest experience with Dr. Okoye was when he rejected an offer of 20 million US dollars from a corporate group in Dubai for taking over Save a Life mission in 2012. I was surprised when his reply to the offer was that vision is a calling and not about money. Ever since then, I have been with him, trying my best and doing my best to support his dream for Africa. I am very sure with such people in Nigeria and Africa, that Nigeria will be a great nation and Africa a great continent. Dr. Richard Okoye and his team are now on a mission to improve Nigerian life expectancy to 70 years by 2025. I'm completely intrigued by your story. If there's anything that I want to know is how you overcame the temptation of rejecting 20 million US dollars. I mean, we're not talking about Naira here. We're talking about US dollars. And this was when you were much younger. You faced that opportunity and somehow we resisted the temptation. How did it happen? I actually didn't see that as a temptation because money was not the driving force. There was no personal ambition in you know, trying to fuel the acceptance of such. What I would rather say is that the passion to revolutionize healthcare system in Africa overrides the personal ambition or opposition of that money at that particular point in time. Dr. Richard Okoye is set to launch the first fully digitalized hospital in the world, the first digital medical university and research institute, which include amongst other specialities, medical hardware and software technology. Going by your background, I mean, I have come to read about you a bit and I've also, you know, done a few questions and asked of you. I, I realize that you haven't come from a family that you would say are, you know, a billionaire status, even though that's what you are now. How then were you able to grow your success story from that point till now? I strongly agree with you because that has been the problem of many young entrepreneurs and those you know, when people have a vision or have a, a talent or have a potential, they usually see capital. Or when it has to do with the bank, you talk about the issue of who oh, I don't have collateral on the business or background. But there's one fundamental thing I want to let you know about it. There is what is called universal currency. Universal currency for pursuing of any global vision is not money but a track record of trust. Financial integrity, that is the most important dimension of it. If I look at how we started, 2010, I borrowed 500,000 Naira 
from a microfinance bank, the premium microfinance bank precisely. Then we paid back, not just only paying back, we maintain relationship with the bank. They saw our trend. And when they see the way we are going, they gave me six million. And from that particular six million, we grew and the track record was there. And that's how they be in position to on their own with the record, not with the collateral, move us to first bank. One interesting thing I want to say here is that not everybody may believe your vision, not everybody may believe your potential, because when they took us to the first bank, hoping that the first bank has a bigger capacity to be able to fuel the, the vision they are, they were seeing. Unfortunately, first bank turned it down on the capacity of it, perhaps not believing in it. Incidentally, a man with a third eye, the, the MD and the CEO of Access Bank, Dr. Herbert Newe, when he came in and saw the carcass, he believed in it and he was able to just support us with the funding to finish up. The track record enabled us to have a lot of projects and also uh, this thing with Access Bank. That brings us to the fact that it does not matter even when people don't believe you. Continue what you are doing because most fundamental thing in vision is abundance by the time or living beginning. When I was trying to make an entry into the African market, my Indian friends, several Indian friends, discouraged and warned me about the dubious nature of Nigerians when it comes to doing business with them. Later during the same year, when I met Dr. Richard Okoye, he totally changed this narrative about Nigerians for good. Today, as I complete my 12 years of continuous medical equipment support to Dr. Okoye, I can confidently say that Dr. Okoye's checks at the most may delay but will never default. Another important thing to observe about Dr. Okoye is he travels every year abroad in search of talent and innovation. And every time he comes back to Nigeria, he brings in something innovative. And I really admire Dr. Richard Okoye for that. Dr. Richard Okoye is the founder of the first medical app, Dr. Save Life app, that comes in different languages, including Nigerian major languages. Immediately after speaking with Dr. Richard, I realized a few unbelievable things about him. First of all, he's not only brilliant in just the medical arena in which he's studied for many years, uh, surprisingly, he was very, very, very technologically savvy in both the AI and the IT space as well. Uh, to say the least, I, I think the man is absolutely the pride and uh, and joy of Africa uh, to come over to America and bring something so advanced uh, with such relative ease and to already have things prepared is uh, a testament to who he is as a man. Going by everything I have read about you and seen about you, you've had lots of opportunities for you to remain in the United States, to become a citizen. But you're still here in Africa, in Nigeria, where we have teaming youths living every day, scrambling for anywhere at all outside Nigeria. What convinces you to remain here? In that regard, I would say that I have a personal belief of predestination of purpose. You know, Jesus made a statement, he said, for this purpose, for this cause was I born. So I look at it that if God brought me and made me to be born in Nigeria, there is a purpose for which I am here. Yeah, having the opportunity to travel to United States and to several other countries, not about idea. That could only give me the opportunity to pick up some ingredients that will enable me to fill down my primary assignment. So, having them, whatever we are doing over the United States and all that, does not negate the fact that there is a reason to be here. And most importantly, let me tell you something. Nigeria is the richest country in the world. See, I don't stand being corrected because I know what I'm talking about. The fact is that Nigeria is very rich. Rich in problems, yeah. However, looking for those that will solve those problems to become billionaires, and you can be one of them. So, seeing the, the situation and the respect of uh, 
young people running out of the country is because I will say they have not seen well. In his effort to build a robust healthcare system in Nigeria, Dr. Richard Okoye has sponsored the training of doctors in various centers abroad. He has also supported various hospitals in healthcare improvement and equipment. Meeting with my MD, Dr. Richard Okoye, is an encounter with destiny. The most interesting thing about him is that he tends to see in you what you don't see in yourself. Several doctors like myself that he has sent abroad for training tend to express some conditions for paper. Even one of the doctors from River States, he sent it to the UK last week for training. There was no indemnity clause or bond signed. All he will say is, go, be the best you can and come back and serve humanity in Africa. Another interesting thing about him is that he tends to go for the best equipment in the world such so that when you train abroad and you come back you tend to meet upgraded versions of those equipment you train with. That is why it's easy for foreign trained doctors as well as the local trained ones to practice with ease in saving life. Dr. Richard Okoye and his team are now on this mission for Africa. Thank you.